Thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. If you saw my review of the Vickers Tactical Glock controls made by Tango Down, then you've already seen this pistol in this exact configuration, which includes the Vickers Elite Battle Sights by Wilson Combat. They're steel aftermarket sights for Glocks that come not only from the experience of Larry Vickers, but also the design mind of the legendary Bill Wilson. And that's why the Vickers Elite Glock sights are what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Vickers Elite Battle Sights for Glocks are high profile, low snag sights developed in conjunction with and manufactured by Wilson Combat. Made of Parkerized steel, these sights provide much more than just an increase in durability over the factory Glock sights. In fact, they are both taller and beefier than most other aftermarket sights not specifically designed for use with silencers. This not only gives the sights a larger sight picture compared to many other designs, but it also gives plenty of engagement surface useful for clearing malfunctions and reloading with only one hand. The rear battle sight is available in plain black as shown here, as well as with a single tritium dot. It has a distinctive U-shaped notch and a flat recess that is contrasted with 40 lines per inch serrations. The sight is very angular with snag resisting slopes leading to the center of the sight from all sides. The Vickers Tactical logo appears in front of two hex head set screws. The plenty of rear sights do just fine without them. These set screws ensure that the rear battle sight will stay right where you put it once they are torqued onto the slide. The front sight shares the 40 lines per inch serrations and is available in tritium as seen here, plain, with a gold bead and with either a red or green fiber optic insert. You can choose from two different heights which accommodate all current Glock models. As soon as I installed these sights, I knew there had to be more to the rear sight picture than the obvious. So I contacted Wilson Combat to ask, why the rounded channel? The answer was very interesting. Gaze mapping research suggests that our eyes gravitate to corners. With a standard square notch, our eyes are potentially drawn to both the top corners of the sight picture, which is where we want them to be, as well as the bottom corners within the notch, which provides us with little useful information about our sight alignment. The rounded rear notch in the battle sight eliminates the corners that don't help us so that our eyes can focus on the corners at the top of the sight picture where they belong. I have no way of testing this out, and frankly, I'm not fast enough of a shooter to tease out a time difference with my own shooting. However, I can say that the sight picture is not distracting in any way, and I do find it very easy to focus on aligning the top corners of the sights. Though I do prefer a bolder front sight for fast shooting, that would be largely taken care of with the fiber optic option that's available. I do find that the 8th inch wide front sight in the .145 wide rear notch provided a great sight picture for more precision oriented shooting. As unique as they are, these sights still have everything that I prefer in a standard sight picture. The increased height of the rear sight made single handed reloads and malfunction clearing very easy to do. The anti-snag angles did nothing to impede the ability of the battle sight to firmly hook onto either my belt or the edge of my holster. I really think that Larry has this aftermarket accessory thing figured out. And I'm not just talking about the designs, I'm talking about how he does it as a business. Instead of forming a manufacturing company called Vickers Tactical, Larry has partnered with manufacturers that have already earned a reputation doing things right, like Tango Down for the Glock controls, Wilson Combat for the sights, Blue Force gear for the slings. That way the manufacturers can focus on what they do best and Larry can focus on what he does best. It also means that he can take advantage of their pricing efficiencies. The Vickers Elite Battle Sights by Wilson Combat start at $75. Now you do have to buy the rear sight and the front sight separately. There are a lot of different options that you can choose and the price goes up from there. But in no, no circumstance, none of the combinations that are available are priced any differently than the equivalent combinations from other manufacturers of aftermarket sites. If you want to learn more about the Vickers Elite Battle Sites, be sure to click the link in the video description below. If you like this video, please take the time to log in and click the like button. YouTube needs to know that you like firearms oriented programming. If you want to help the channel even, even more, be sure to click right here to see how you can contribute to my Patreon campaign. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool things. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.